Do you are? Smartcom. Smartcom, and your name Stephen is? Stephen Worrell. Okay, Stephen, congratulations on winning the award. Thank you very much. Well done. Now tell me about this particular task you took on with the multi-dwellings. Um, it was a very interesting product project. The, uh, the, the main building dated back to the 1920s, so we were, it was part new build, part uh, refurbishment of a uh, of the 1920s building that was under English heritage, so it was uh, quite challenging in terms of uh, dealing with that side of it. Mm. Um, but a lot of things you're not allowed to do, right? A lot of things you're not allowed to do, and we had to cope with uh, a lot of rules and regulations and everything else. So, yeah, very uh, interesting from a design side from the early stages. Um, working with the developer, interior designers, and it was quite an unusual project from a developer's point of view. Very rarely. Um, install all the equipment. Uh, they tend to do either an you know, infrastructure cabling point of view and then add bits of equipment and then it's an upgrade by the owners when they move in. But this developer said no, we want to put everything in and literally the owners turn up, pay their money and walk in with their toothbrush type of scenario. Mm. So um, yeah, it was a great project for us very, and the project grew over time and as as the owners started moving in also, you know, we were getting upgrades and, uh, and so forth. So yeah, no, very exciting project. Three years really from start to finish from when I originally got involved in design to signing off the projects September last year. So, so quite different in the sense, I suppose there wasn't an end client who was going to live there at that stage. No, not you, at all. You were using your own imagination to put this yeah, thing yeah, together. Yeah, definitely. Working with the developer and the designer, he had very much of his own ideas. Um, we actually took them over to America to see some installations over there in terms of multi-dwelling, tower blocks, uh, the the technology that's being used across the across different apartments in, mm. in multi-dwelling type developments. Are there efficiencies and savings you can do there? I'd imagine there might be. Are there, 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 there cable distribution? Yeah, no, definitely. There's, there's lots of different things you can do and, and as, as time goes on, you know, during a three-year design period, then technology is always changing, and, as you know, so mm. uh, always changing and uh, we were trying to bring that into the design as, as the development progressed. Uh, so, yeah, very challenging, but uh, Great to receive the award tonight, which was a uh, recognition of you know, everything that went into it over that period of time. Tell me about that um, decision to purchase, because as you say, you sign off on something six months before you need it, mm -hmm. maybe, and six, three months down the road, there's a better product on the market. Yeah, well that, how, do, that, how do you juggle that? Well, you know, that's the challenging part of it, really, in that uh, over that period of time, you're always watching the technology. So the design at the front end of the cabling infrastructure was very, very important to give us the flexibility to enable us to change certain things along the way to make sure we were always keeping up with the latest technology. Uh, the developer was, was, was very keen from the beginning to, to not fix on one type of product. Um, uh, in particular, um, the main manufacturer and that was involved with us in design was Crestron, mm -hmm. and um, they worked with us throughout to make sure that we were always up to date with the latest products that were coming through. So things were changing as, as we were installing, and so it all you know, kept interesting. Hey, it all worked. Congratulations <laughs> Thanks again. Thanks very much. Well done. Thanks very much.